The FE is an exam that helps engineers excel in their careers and earn more. But so many engineers stay stuck and never pass the FE exam due to some outdated study practices. Now let's find out if these study practices are stopping you from passing your FE faster. Oh yeah, everybody now. Here are four outdated study tips that I don't recommend and will keep you stuck in the FE journey for years. Study tip number one, using the review manual. This is also known as the Linderbook book. Now, a lot of students would recommend that you use the review manual. And I actually did use it when I was studying for my FE exam. And it does have some good problems. And I found it helpful in some ways, like exposing myself to different types of problems. But after talking to thousands of students, some of them find it intimidating, overwhelming, and not relevant to the FE exam. You would just pass. And I, I just started preparing that book. And, uh, and that is not up to date at the first place. And also, it's, it's too tough. The approach, the solution is, is, is not user-friendly. Like I couldn't understand most of the concepts. That was not fine. I wasn't comfortable. Like uh, even if I complete the whole book, I don't feel confident. Now, here's what I usually recommend to students. If you want to use the review manual, go ahead and try it. If you are learning and making progress, great, keep using it. But if you're not, then you gotta stop using it because that's what's gonna keep you stuck, right? Just because it works for someone else, it doesn't mean it will work for you. Everybody learns differently and you have to figure out what's gonna help you pass your FE exam faster. Now, if you want to check if you have the right study material or if you're on track to passing your FE, go ahead and answer these eight questions. Outdated study tip number two, cramming. Waiting for the last minute and expecting to learn everything in a month or less. When students cram, it can lead to burnout. And cramming causes you to study for long hours and it doesn't give you enough time to process the information that you are learning. So you end up focusing on memorizing instead of understanding. And when you memorize concepts and problems, you are missing the key components of knowing how to use them. And you're not going to be able to solve a lot of the questions during your FE exam because the questions that you are studying right now, you're not going to have the same exact questions on your FE. So you have to make sure that you are understanding the concepts and the problems. Also, cramming has actually been proven to increase stress levels, lead to anxiety, and make it harder to retain information. So give yourself time. In my courses, I usually recommend students to spend three to four months preparing for the FE exam. It doesn't have to take you three years to pass the FE, but also you don't want to rush studying into three weeks. Which brings me to the third point, winging it. Not going to the exam with the plan of how to study, what to study, and how long to study is risky. The FE exam tests you on 13 to 17 different engineering topics. It is not an easy exam, and you need a study plan, but it doesn't have to be a complicated one. A few things I recommend adding to your study plan is making sure that you know your calculator really well, know all the functions, take practice exams and mimic the exam environment, and don't forget to carve out time during the day to recharge and relax. Now, if you want the FE study plan, just like the one that our students use, Click the link here, and if you want more problems, concepts, and tips on how to pass the FE exam, don't forget to like and subscribe. Outdated study tip number four, multitasking. Multitasking is a myth, and your brain is not wired to be constantly moving from one focus to another. And if you get into deep work and you get distracted, it can take you up to 20 minutes to get back on track. That is all valuable time that you can't afford to lose when you have your future on the line. When it comes to studying, it is best to remove all distractions by turning your phone on, do not disturb, turning off the TV, and having a designated study area that is quiet. You also want to make sure that you close all your tabs so when you face a difficult problem or concept, you're not tempted to scroll social media, online show, or surf the internet about irrelevant subjects.
Now, I'm also going to add a bonus tip, which is I don't recommend ignoring your weaknesses and your mistakes. Now, it can be very easy to fall into the trap of studying what comes easy to you and not challenging yourself. Because when we do problems that are easy or problems that we already know, it makes us feel good and confident in the moment, but that's not what's going to help you pass your FE exam. So you have to make sure that you are covering the difficult problems and subjects and you're not ignoring your weaknesses. Learn from your mistakes, push yourself, and discover what it takes to become a successful engineer. Not sure what your weaknesses are? Watch this video next and discover how to find out. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,